Welcome to another vlog from the Williams family. Today, we are going to do, what are we doing, babe? The crab We're going to do corn. Crab and corn. How to cook crab. Well, we're going to do crabs and corns boil. And we got all the stuff over here. Obey. And of course, it's not much, but at least we got something. We got the crab right there. We're gonna boil them, season them. Got the corn. Got the potatoes. Got got the uh, the garlic powder and the crab boil. Now we decided to use this crab boil because we didn't want to make no crab boil. So this is the everything in here. And then with the garlic powder and the obey. And can't believe it's butter inside. And let's see, what else we got in here? Up one more. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take you step by step how we're gonna make these crabs. We're gonna boil them, bake them, season them. And so, let's get started. Okay, so what I did, y'all, was I let the, I put my crabs inside of here, boiled it. As you can see, all the water's boiled up. Now I'm gonna add my seasoning and my butter and everything in here. I turned it off and I'm gonna let it soak for 15 to 20 minutes. Let me show y'all what it look like. I keep, keep on. Okay, now, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my butter and my seasoning. Now, I'm gonna add my butter, my butter, inside of here, let the butter soak, okay? How much more butter should I put in there, babe? Two scoops. Okay, two scoops, I'm gonna put a little more butter. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. that's my butter. Now I'm gonna go get my garlic powder. Garlic powder. Right. I'm gonna open my garlic powder up. Garlic powder. And I, I, I was going to do the top thing and leave it open like this. And just go like this. Garlic powder. You know what I'm saying? We get enough of garlic powder inside of here. I say about half of this thing. Mm-hmm. About half of it. Yeah, about half of it. That's good right there. That's good right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's garlic powder. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm going to just push that on the crab. Get this stuff to okay. soak in there. Okay, we got the garlic powder now. Now, now we're gonna put the seafood boil in here. The obey. Now we're gonna put the obey in here. Now, we're not gonna put much. Cause we got the seasoned boil. Okay. Open this thing up. Mmm. Look at that. Fresh so, obey. You see that? Yeah, so Oh yeah. Open this top up. We're gonna sprinkle just a little bit in here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit on top. Okay? And that smells off. We're gonna put a little bit in here, just like this. Okay, we're not gonna put too much. Just enough to cover the top of it. Alright. Now we got the seafood boil. Seafood boil. And I got the crab and crawfish one. I don't know exactly how much we put in here, but we're gonna just pour some in here until the water get the color that we want it to be, I guess. We're gonna just pour it in there. We're gonna start with maybe half of it. I don't know. I think we should, no, we're gonna just push, try about half of it. Right, babe? Mm-hmm. Let's talk about half of it. I think it'll be about half of it. Yes. Okay. Now, I didn't, I didn't pull about half of this bag in there. You see that, right? Mm -hmm. I did half of the bag. Now, I'm going to let this sit 
for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna come back and do the next part with the bacon. Okay, now what we next step we're doing is we got the corn and the potatoes, and we're gonna add some water inside of here and boil it. That's the next step. water inside of here. I don't know if y'all can see that. But that's your water right there. And we're going to boil it. This pot right here is going to be where everything is going to go when I bake it at the end. Right now I'm letting the crabs simmer and the broil. Right now I'm letting the crabs simmer inside of the broil. Let me grab the quiet. Oh, no Sorry, y'all. My daughter, she cranked the key. This is the boil. I'm just checking it. It's been soaking in there real good. So keep letting it soak. Keep letting that soak in the boil. And we're going to boil this. And then we're going to put them together and season them and bake it. And yeah, whatever happened, happened. So I added the seasoning on it the butter and the uh, crab oil right here this crab oil right here you see the crab oil I put that inside of here and boiled it with the corn and the potatoes I add a little bit of this garlic powder right here I don't know if you guys can see that the garlic powder no matter of fact I'm gonna add a little bit more in there I'm gonna add a little bit more in there right there see right there all right Old Bay seasoning. I added some of that. Did I add Old Bay seasoning in there? Okay, well, I'm going to add a little bit more in there. Alright. Okay. Alright. So now we got the Old Bay seasoning inside of here with the corn. And we're waiting for the boil. We got the crab sitting in here with the crab oil letting it soak. And it said 20 minutes. Next step after this is to put everything inside of this pan right here and bake it for a couple minutes with all the seasoning on it and then see the outcome. So that's going to be the next step on the video. Okay, now there's one thing we got missing and that's butter to dip the crabs in. So we're going to make a butter garlic dip. I'm going to show how I do the butter garlic dip. Hold on. Let me find my garlic. Hold on. I got my garlic right here right now mind you now this is all freestyle i'm just doing this as i go now i'm gonna put my garlic give it my bowl all right I'm put my garlic i'm gonna put about i say about that much garlic in there right put about that much garlic you know what i'm saying um since we have a seafood i'm gonna put some of the old bay in with it give it a little bit of flavor all right, obey. A little bit of flavor. Let's give it a little bit of, get that butter a little bit of spice to it. You know what I'm saying? Let me show y'all what the thing look like right now. Right? Okay. This is obey. Just give it a little bit of spice. All right. And um, since we're using crab boil, we're gonna put just a little bit of that in there. It's a tiny bit of that. Just a little bit. A uh, little sprinkles, like that. Not much. A little sprinkles. Not much. Now, I'm going to take a, some of my butter, I'm going to scoop my butter in here, like this. I'm going to scoop some more in there. This is what it looks like now, let me show you. Okay? I'm going to do it that. I'm going to do it that. But how much you think you need? Need more of that or this enough? Um, let me see. Put it, put it down. A little bit more. Okay, so we're going to do a little more butter. Mm -hmm. This butter right here. Alright, now what I'm gonna do get a spoon. See I got this right here, get a spoon, stir it up. Alright, get a spoon, stir it up. You see how soft it is. Get a spoon, stir it up. Mmm, that smells so good. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! That thing smells so good. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man. Man, it smells great. Okay. 
Hell, now I'm gonna let her try some of it up. A little bit of it. Take your finger and see if you, see if you like what it tastes. Oh, there you go. Now I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a little bit. That's see good. Thank you. Yeah. Now, off in the microwave for one or two minutes to melt it. I'm letting that butter melt in the microwave just a little bit. Quick second. And when it gets done, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like after it melts. Out the microwave. End result. Check it out. Look at that butter, y'all. Look at that. And it smells so good. And this is going to be the dipping, the dipping sauce for the crabs. And all we got left to do now is, one thing I got left to do now is to throw the crabs, let the corn finish boiling and throw the crabs in there. Put it in the oven, bake it for a couple minutes with a season on top, and we'll be done. And we'll show y'all what it looks like when we're done. Alright, that's it. That's it. And be. So, now, I was gonna bake them, but I decided to not bake. We're just gonna keep it boiled, and we're gonna put the crabs and the everything together and put them inside the pot and eat them at the table. So, let me get this thing going. Let me see. How many. Let me see, I'm going to put a couple of these right here inside with these. Put the shrimp that's in there with that. Somebody says stemless chips can be released there. And you believe that's it. it. Okay, and we're gonna put them together and then put it inside the pot. So, I got my pot and I'm gonna pour everything in here. Everything inside of this pot, guys. Um, that's too much liquid right there. Okay, y'all. So I made a little mess, but I got all the stuff in there together, and this is what it looks like. Uh, we're gonna put the seasoning on there. We get ready to eat it now. Well, we're gonna get the butter, then eat it. Mm -hmm. Now, here comes the sample. Here comes the sample test. Mm. 
Man. That is good. Woo! I got that kick to it, boy. Mm. But that's the way we like it, little spice. Oh, yeah. Did you try the corn? Not yet. Come on. Actually, I should let you try the corn. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. This right here. Remind me of the restaurant ones, but with a little bit more spice to it. Did I put butter in it? It seems like it's just perfect. Oh, man, not too salty, not too spicy. Now, crab, mm -hmm. how the sauce taste? It tastes good. Cutting out a little bit. I'm going to butter. Oh, it tastes good. Cutting out a little bit. Salt. You want salt in it? Yeah. Wow. I'm just going to do that. It's all okay. Alright, you see it? I'm talking about the butter. Oh, the butter? It's okay. Let me see. Let me try it. Well, got a lot of garlic in it. Alright, so the corn. I'm gonna give that like corn. I'm gonna give what you rate the corn like. I am Okay, well, I'm gonna give you my rate on the corn. I and say the potato? a seven. Potato, I rate it a nine. Nine on the potato, mm -hmm. seven on the corn. So, last thing check is to rate the crabs. We're gonna rate this out. Okay. I'm gonna let you guess. What do you think this is? Let her guess. A nine. A nine? Okay. I'm gonna say she's right. Well, Hey, women always right, so probably gonna be nine. <laughs> I know, right? Wait a minute, wait a minute now. Hold up, don't hold the horse now. Let me see how this look at all that meat boy. I'm gonna dip it in there. See 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 if this really work. You know what I think it is? What's that? Tastes good. Probably put a lot of garlic in it, that's what you taste them. Yeah. But um this already, this is, this is, this is a done deal. Oh yeah. Mm. Of course, when you cook it more, yeah. it's our first time doing this, you get better. I said, what, it's your first time doing this? Yes, our first time. Mm. Not bad for first time. Really, eh? Second time will be better. We gotta get ready for the country. Cause when she go back to the country, you gotta know how to cook this stuff for the country folks. discussion of yep. today's topic is gonna be locked down I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time 30 days mandatory lockdown isolation quarantine what do you think about that baby that is stupid Thought of something like this would happen, take place. You know, we live in the last April day for real. The whole thing with me is 30 days quarantine, can't leave your house because of a virus. It make you wonder who put the virus out there. Really That's the thing. Who put this virus out there? Okay, all right, do you think it's 
natural virus or man made? My personal opinion, I think it's man made. Man made. From where? China. From China. Yep. Sad to say, it sound funny, but truth be told, I hate to say it. Yep. Truth be told, I mean, it ain't no secret. It really ain't no secret, y'all. No, y'all know no China the one shut down first. Mm -hmm. Keep shutting down. And then America come right behind and shut down behind them. I hope y'all not blind to it. No, I hope they're not blind either. Honestly. If y'all blind to that, I don't know what to tell you. Listen. I really don't. They want us under their control. Mm hmm And we're going to get to a point where we can't eat, we can't work, we can't buy, sell, trade without that vaccination or without that. People like to say the mark of the beast, but I'd rather say the vaccination because I think the mark of the beast is just simply selling your soul yeah, me too. for food. I mean, that's my personal opinion. I think you're just selling your soul for food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the Bible tells us not to worry about nothing. Exactly. And to put your trust in Him and to sell your soul. You shouldn't do. It's to sell your soul. That's right. So, what is this digital vaccination going to really do? Exactly. Well, it's going to. Give them the opportunity to say you safe in society from catching the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Made no sense. Oh y'all, right? Oh, it's the coronavirus. It's gonna kill you. Oh, the coronavirus is gonna kill you. People die every day. Heart exactly. attack, heart car disease, accident. car accident, domestic violence, mm -hmm. shootings, yep, no, AIDS. STD. What is the what is the what is the number on the deaths just from AIDS or STDs alone? Exactly. I bet you it's at least three times the amount of the COVD. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, the rate for the flu is probably higher than that too. Yep. The rate of the flu is higher than that. But everybody want to walk around here with these masks on, scared because they putting that thing on the news. Oh, they got you. They got you trapped. Oh, they're scared. We're going to keep them in the house. Don't come outside and don't talk to your neighbors because they might tell you that the government's trying to take down the economy to make it crash so that you got to get the vaccination in order for you to be able to buy and purchase food. Mm. Oh, no. Nah, foolish stuff. I'm gonna tell you what they're gonna do. They're gonna keep us in the house for 30 days. Then when the 30 days is up, they may extend it another 30 days. Keep on extending it, coming up with different policies, laws, until they got everybody. What do we gotta do? We gotta get a shot to get food? Okay, here, shoot me right there. Give me the vaccination. I'm hungry. It's, 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 it's obvious. You're looking at the shelves empty. They got everybody panicking. Man, it's just, it's just ridiculous. And y'all, we all going down, don't even see it. But, they say wash your hands. Keep a mask on. Man, we've been grew, we grew up where if somebody got a cold, you say stay back, man. Because right. you don't want the cold. So the same thing with this. Stay back, man. Don't be sneezing and coughing on me. Right. Don't let nobody sneeze and cough on you. You know what I'm saying? But y'all take this thing to a whole nother level. Whole nother level. Whole nother level. But this thing is getting crazy. <clears throat> Man. <laughs> oh, that was our little live. Yeah. But.
Hold on. Back. Now you need some Mountain Dew. You might not be able to sleep at night, but you feel good when you drink it. So I, I forgot who was at a race for the crowd. Mm -hmm. Um, eight, nine. Yep. Nine. This is like this tastes like Louisiana, like Louisiana crowd. Sure. Like, yep. Y'all ever had that Louisiana stuff? The spicy Louisiana. You know, Louisiana always had like the spicy, good flavor. That's what this tastes sure, like. Sure, yeah. I agree. That's what this tastes like. Corn is really good. I, I mean, I like the corn in the crowd. I like all. But I see little spots since our first time doing it. I see little stuff that I can improve on oh, next yeah. time. What's that? Use a little bit less water. Make oh, the season yeah. a little bit more thicker. Add a little bit more butter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make it more richer with butter. I agree. Probably not even add the garlic powder. Just do the butter. What do you think? Add it. Continue adding. This is delicious. I'm serious. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Hey, we got plenty of crowd. I'm serious. Help us out. Yeah. Thank you. <coughs> <coughs> what happened? See how people could die from this or something? Yeah, I really do. Y'all, they got them little things set up where they put, where they said the people will go at. Why they can't go to the hospital? Why they got all them things? This whole thing is just still a mystery. Man, if it's not a mystery to you, that means you ain't got, you ain't using your sense. Mm -hmm. No offense, but the mukbang today was about a lockdown. And y'all need to start running around here with just a mask on, watching the TV, going crazy and you ain't using what God gave you right here. Amen. This right here. I ain't saying no use a mask. I ain't saying no wash your hand. Amen. But look past. Why are we doing all this? Where's it coming from? Amen. Where's the virus coming from? Why is it here? Where did it come from? From China. Who put it out there? Why did they put it out there? Yes, sir. Well, what's the purpose behind it? You know what I'm saying? Amen. Like, why are they tell us the death toll keeps changing? How are so many people dying so fast but we ain't seeing none of it? Like, you got to use your common sense. That's all I'm saying, people. Dude, for the mukbang today, is use your common sense. Yep, that's your more than I thought it was. It is more than we thought it was. Yeah, it is. You know, a big pack. Yeah. I think I bought a large pack. Well, it look good, but it's always for tomorrow. So. Mm -hmm. Too bad. Son here. I know. My son Tay would have loved it. He would have loved this. Yes, son. Huh? Oh, my bad. Yes, son. Well, uh -huh. I saw would have loved it. Yeah, I know, right? From excuse here. me. You excuse. But I've been saying that way for so long. I'm not bad. Just a guy. Don't feel bad, do it too. So what? He still said, um. Huh? He still said that. I mean, still calling by my name. You know what? I think this ends it. But, like I said, y'all, y'all enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and remember. <laughs> what? Don't. Nothing. Me? Mm-hmm. What? I'll tell you later. What? This something funny? <laughs> yeah. 
what Charles said. Oh, he said, oh. What, when you be on the phone, mm -hmm. talking to me, like, don't say it. My wife. <laughs> you tell me that. My wife. Yeah, that, the way you say it, you said it. Oh, my wow. wife. Mm -hmm. Well, shout out to my sons. Well, our sons. Armante. Daytron. Daytron. Precious. All the Williams family. Leah, yeah, Leah, Raya, Darielle, Marciara. Oh, um, shout out to all my nephews, Derek, DeAndre, this in Bogotan. If you watch this video, Demare, Demarie, you know, all the all the Williams family. Um, I know you probably watch it there, but shout out to my cousin Will. If he ever see it on the internet and be like, that's Cuzzo. Right? Right. Um, and, uh, I think so that's cool. it. Y'all, I am full, y'all. So, if anybody get a hold of this video and you're watching it, just remember, think about why why they doing what they doing. Don't just say, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, use a little bit of common sense. You know, do your investigation, do your research, find out the truth, use your brain, put the puzzle together. Mm -hmm. Don't just, because they the government, they law enforcement, just go along with everything they say, because they can lie to you, so they can tell the world anything, and they just fall behind like a bunch of puppies, a bunch of, like, like a bunch of dummies. <laughs> Come on, man. You got to think. Yep. You got to think. So, anyway, let me get some more crab. Mm. That's it. Want some? No. Oh, oh, crab. Cool. I'm going to get my piece. Mm. My last piece. Man. Crab it out. <laughs> you know what I'm Crab it out. See? Me too. Man. I can tell people to show over, but mm -hmm. it ain't over. So the fat lady to see. Woo! <laughs> I started singing, you heard? Yeah. In the background. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's close it up. Alright. Yes, sir. Man. Yeah, not bad for the first time. Sure, Alright, y'all. Subscribe and like, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my.